Hi, so here is the review of the latest uh, Android uh, uh, car DVD GPS uh, navigation system. So um, basically the main menu uh, interface it's exactly the same like the similar units uh, which run on the Windows platform. As you can see everything is the same. Okay, let's switch off that annoying beep. Um, so uh, all the functions are exactly the same as uh, as uh, I did review for same interface for other head units before. Um, you can use um, Bluetooth, uh, external microphone, USB, micro SD card. Um, all all functions are the same. The only difference is uh, because this is uh, on Android platform. As soon as you press navigation, it will go into the Android menu. So basically, it's uh, it's exactly the same menu as, uh, for example, your smartphones have, and this is uh, Android 2.3. So you can do uh, anything you want with this Android. Uh, for this, the, you need, of course, to buy the Wi-Fi dongle, Wi-Fi dongle, or also you can connect to the 3G network. You need to buy 3G dongle. So, like something like this. So, and if we go through the menu, it's uh, it's familiar menu for, to you. So all the apps are here, and all the settings, everything is the same as on your smartphone. So here you can see about device uh, Android 2.3. It's pretty quick very responsive screen and uh, for example on the on the go on the move if you don't want to buy 3G dongle and have a um, 3G SIM card separately uh, you also can access internet uh, if you have Wi-Fi USB stick um, just you just find the nearest uh, Wi-Fi hotspot or for example in the car I can use uh, my smartphone as a as a Wi-Fi hotspot just turn your mobile phone uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on and then uh, you can use uh, your car Android um, internet. So let's see Wi-Fi. So now you can see Android hotspot. It's connected. Actually, it's uh, obtaining IP address from my mobile phone. And now you can see the Wi-Fi sign is on. So this way. Now I can surf the internet. Okay, at the beginning it's uh, a little bit slow. Alright, but now it's getting up to speed. So, and just you can Google, uh, enter any web page uh, pretty much the same like you surf internet on your tablet PC or or on your smartphone so uh, so th this way you can you can surf the internet uh, download different applications okay let's go back so that's it that's the Android and as soon as you hit navigation button, it switches back to the last uh, last known uh, source. 
at the moment I was using radio here so if you play let's say SD card music from SD card and you switch on to navigation you still will be able to listen music on the background but you can still surf the internet and of course as a GPS uh, navigation you can use uh, Google Maps the same way you use them on the on your phone so just type location let's say Ireland so now it's searching and you can operate the same way like you operate your smartphone it means a lot so we can add here let's look for some street Island and let's look Parnell Street. Okay, now it's searching and let's see what does it. So as you can see here now it's searching for Parnell Street in Dublin city center. It's a little bit slow now, as I mentioned because of my phone data connection at the moment I'm in bad area reception is not that good but still as you can see here and you will be able to look all the places, bars, let's say ATM, so all this information coming from internet same way like if you would do using your smartphone and yeah you know, all the all the rest information it's pretty much the same like you use your smartphone. That's it. Thank you for watching.